Welcome to this Just Resolve Report video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to create a watermark on top of your report. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, I'll be using this uh, last report from sub-report. So as you can see, uh, this is from our uh, last topic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap a watermark, uh, let's say a 45 degrees watermark on top of this report. Watermark is uh, most commonly used if you have some confidentiality on your report. So for this demo, I'm going to demonstrate that on how to do it. So let's start. So from here, let's go back to our design. For us to have a watermark, we need to bind that in an image, but that should be applied on the background. So here, headed back from our outline here, select this outline. So for the height, let's say I'm going to pick this height as 499. That's the height of our background. Once you do that, as you can see, uh, this is our background now. So the cover for this one is from this section here to down there. Then we're going to insert an image. Here. And click OK. So let's say we don't have any format for that one. So let's just let just move this one image here. So you can simply customize this height accordingly. As long as it will fit the entire page. So that's the goal. So for me, I'm just going to drag all the way here. Okay, so that should be it. So I uh, just specify between this range. So if you if your page is only until this section only, so make sure you're going to put that at this section only. Okay, so after that, you need to click this image section. Then from the image, click this expression. Now there's a special format to make it a watermark. So I have here, okay, I'm going to paste this code. Okay. So don't you worry, uh, this is a special code for printing from SPG, so this is a special format. So here, I'm going to put the text, so this text will display on top of the report, so this is sample drop only. So later, after this demo, you can get this example on the description below. So for now, we just simply uh, see and how this works. So if everything is okay, just click finish. Then hit preview. And there you go. Okay. So right now, as you can see, it only limits from here. So that's probably because the picture or the image that I put is not really cover up the entire thing. So let's fix that. To do that, uh, let's make sure that we need to know the actual height of the main report. So in here, going to, okay. as you can see, this is 595 by 842. So let's start with 595. So let's say average of 500. So let's go back to our background. And going to fix this as to 500. And for image, I'm uh, going to extend that until here. Okay, so make sure. Okay. So be very careful here because this should be below, before, or below, or within the range of the main report. But right now, it's already 520. 
So let's check if that one's already satisfied our view. So let's try again. So I think this this side here need to much further adjust. Anyway, so yeah, so I still need to increase more. So let's try to increase the height once more. So accordingly to this main here, the height is 595. So let's try with 595. Let's say 5. So let's pick this as 590. So let's start with that. And then from the image, going to increase that here. Oh, already more. So let's reduce that. Okay, there. Okay, so let's. Okay, so there's already warning. Yeah, so yeah, we need to reduce the height of the image. There. Okay, so let's preview once more. Okay, so there's still more here. Okay, so most probably need to just more. Okay, let's. Let's see it going to expand this like here. And then adjust this to here. So let's see. As long the page still fits, so there should be uh, we shouldn't be worried about it. So as long we can expand this more. Uh, yeah, so there is still more here to come. So Maybe we can expand a little bit. So let's see. Hope this works. Okay, still okay. So let's see. Wow. Okay. But there's still more here. Sample drop. Ah, okay. It's already on the edge. So which means it's already being repeated. Okay. I think that should be enough. The only thing is for us is uh, make sure that the feet of the word is still there. Right. So if we preview that. Okay. So it depends. So what, what words you're going to print. So what happened is it will going to replicate. So as you can see, it's already edge in the edge of drop. So my words is sample drop. So yeah, we can reduce this once once more. So that's almost it. So that's it. Um, yeah. So you can still customize this uh, sample code. So later I'm going to post that on the description. You just uh, you just get it on the description below, and try to see if, uh, what words you can come out. So that's it. That's how you're going to put a watermark on your Jasper report. So for now. If you find this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys on the next video series. Cheers!